Today I want to take a look at multi-factor authentication and how to log in to Microsoft 365 with no cell phone. No cell phone. Leave it at home. Don't take it with you. Don't need it. You can log in to multi-factor using your web browser only to save yourself time and to make it more convenient. And we'll go through it in just a few easy steps. So here we are checking out SharePoint Online. That's a Microsoft 365 system. This also would work with Outlook, Teams, any other M365 cloud property. You want to open a new tab. You want to open a new tab and then go to aka.ms slash MFA setup. MFA setup is a shortcut for the multi-factor authentication MFA page. Now right now, looking at this particular configuration, we have an email for forgot password and we have SMS for forgot password. So we have email, we have SMS. So this will send you a text message, you can log in that way. Okay, fine. But we want to do multi-factor using the app. We want to use the six-digit random generated number from the multi-factor app. And for that, we're going to need a little bit more where we want to set up our browser. So without the phone, you can come into your browser and load the Authenticator Chrome extension. We'll do add extension over here. Good, good. And with the extension loaded, we'll now see it here in our toolbar as the Authenticator Chrome extension. And if we come in, we can add a sign in method and we choose Authenticator app. And we want to click this very important link. You want to say you want to use a different Authenticator app. Different equals Chrome extension. <laughs> It's not the official Microsoft app on your phone. It's a Chrome extension. So you're going to click this link for different. It won't work unless you do this. Definitely click the link. Go ahead and do next. And now by clicking the button up here, we will activate. This is the toolbar for the Chrome extension. Clicking that button, we're going to activate the image detection, which is right out here in the corner. This is for scan the QR code. And if you click that bad boy, all of the magic happens. So we click that one, we grab a hold of the QR code, and now we see that we've been successfully added. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, and we'll hit Next. And it wants us to enter the six digit code. We don't have our phone, we don't have a mobile app, we don't need our phone nearby, which is great. Go ahead and click the Chrome extension in the toolbar. Click this and say allow. And by clicking the number, just clicking it right here, you're going to copy it to clipboard. And then right there, go ahead and do a paste. So we've pasted in the code number that we received from our toolbar, Chrome extension. We hit next. And we've successfully authenticated. There we go. We get the success screen. And we have the new method listed on our configuration. Super cool stuff. So now, whenever you're prompted for MFA, you do not need to grab the phone. No more phone. Don't worry about it. Don't bring it with you. Leave it in a drawer. Don't worry about the phone. Leave it, leave it somewhere else. It's just a distraction anyway, right? So without your phone, you can now authenticate very easily by clicking the toolbar once, <clears throat> clicking a second time to copy the code, and then click a third time for paste. So one for the toolbar, two for the copy, and three for the paste. And that will let you log in to MFA very easily from your browser only with no need for the phone. Why is this helpful? Your phone's a distraction, has a lot of other notifications. It's helpful if you're traveling and maybe you're doing the airplane Wi-Fi and you wanna generate the code locally to your browser. It is faster. You're already in the browser. All you have to do is click in the corner two times. Pop it up, copy the code. Two clicks in the corner. That's pretty fast. And it's also contextual. You might have a couple of different authenticator codes on your phone, some personal, some work. This one is custom tailored to this one Chrome session for this one purpose. So the next time you want to log in with MFA, check out the Chrome Authenticator app. And thanks for watching.